Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave and I'm back with more reactions with an X. Sorry for the long break. I know we had a couple weeks off. I was having some issues, uh, just paying the bills, getting, making sure I have a place to live, all that. Uh, but now that all the issues are kind of handled, my car's fixed, all the other bullshit that was going on in my life is done. I'm back bringing more reactions weekly. We're going to be doing these live on Sundays as usual, but this one's recorded ahead of time to make up for it. In any case, I hope you guys have had a great time. We're going to be doing another episode of Sabakui Bisco, which is... Oof, uh, rust eater mushroom? Something like that. I forget the actual English translation. Uh, as you know, the first three episodes have been pretty fun, interesting ride, and this is based off of a uh, graphic, or not a graphic, a light novel, which a lot of the recent adaptions have been, stuff like Overlord, stuff like uh, Slime, Desu, all that great stuff. So we decided to check this out, and then also on the recommendation of a friend, and it's been pretty good so far. I've been enjoying the adventures of Dr. Panda and Bisco so far, as well as his mentor, Javi and his giant crab. But we're really just getting on to the start of the adventure now here in episode four, I believe. So it's gonna be a fun time. If you guys are enjoying the episodes, as always, let me know. And whether or not you enjoy watching with me, if you enjoy watching the show, period, remember to support the original content creator by checking them out over on, you know, uh, Crunchyroll. Uh, I don't know the actual light novel where they're selling, but there, if they have a manga adaption in Shonen Jump, support them, because if we don't support them, we don't get more of this amazing content. Also, if you have any other suggestions that you'd like to have us watch, read, and react to live here on the channel, let us know below in the comments, and we'll be happy to try to get back to you. For now, though, I don't want to wait anymore. I just want to get into it, so let's get into it. <laughs> Are we not going to address what happened at the end of the last episode? <laughs> Missed the mark to an archer. City brats. Oof. I've never been mistaken in my life. His hair kind of reminds me of Yu-Gi-Oh, just the general shape of it being like spikes going sideways. Uh, it looks different from the side there, though. Oh, wow, look at all the uh, weapons of war that have basically been driftweed. Uh-oh. Poison? Tired? Interesting pattern, though, on the eye, the way it moves with the eye. Did he even notice? How long has he been walking and didn't even notice? Watch. That would be fucking funny. Oh, no, 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 it came back. Passed out in a car. That or he put Panda in the car. Oh. So why are we walking? Not a good one. So how do I know it's just dumb as shit, right? Oh no, he actually has a good idea. Oh, he's bringing no boy. I was gonna say, where has the uh, crab been for all this time? Oi! I swear I thought Panda had met this crab. A uh, 3D crab. They're like, no, I don't have to walk. We're good, boys. <laughs> same for me, Panda. Same for me. I ain't walking nowhere. You can't ride, bitch. That's funny as fuck. Mm, interesting grass. I swear, the backgrounds look uh, painted almost, like oil paintings or something. I don't know. He hates doctors. Oh, 
He's using more sound effects of words. Here it comes. You know, he's pretty gentle though at getting him off, like relatively doesn't cut him in half with his claws. <laughs> so, you know, just saying. So this is the comedy episode to break it down. He hates me. He's got his pride as a crab. As I say, like, if you don't want it to work, your dude dies before Panda's dude, so you need to get this shit figured out, Visco. It's your issue, not Panda's issue, and not Octagawa's issue. Primarily, despite everything else, his issue. Because if, if because Milo can't ride around, yeah, then they don't get it. The thing is, you won't be, though, because they can't do it without you. Like, once again, whether or not Bisco can even go get the mushroom, he actually needs you to do the other stuff, and it's going to take more time to do that if you're at the other end waiting. Well, at least Dr. Gawa stopped, but I doubt it was because Milo told him to. Also, that... Like, what did Octagawa do to end up in that situation? Yep, doing more than what Bisco was doing. Once <laughs> again, this is a hundred percent on Bisco and Octagawa, because Octagawa just let her ride like nothing. So so much, so much for that, huh? Well, at least it's listening, Seven. Something's wrong with She ate something. Oh no, she's choking. What the fuck? Gross. That was balloon worm. Whoa. I uh, don't know if it was a kiss. What the is this? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> uh oh, the crack. He was gonna pull out the boat. <laughs> Of course she is. Gotta make a living. It's like, I couldn't kill you, so it's your fault. <laughs> well, at least she's up front. <laughs> True. It will literally just make you hungry. It kills energy. Anger is one of those, uh, <laughs> those excessive emotions. Your namesake. Oh, is this how the the thingy comes out? Because once again, I'm a little pissy that they they yeah. There we go. Isn't this what the end of last? Huh? Wait, where is Milo? I am very confused. How? Oh, it's a right. Who's shooting it? I'm very confused. The music, though, the music, man, has been lit for this whole series, and that's the truth. Oh, 
Okay. I will say they wrapped it back around to the crown, uh, to the crab writing, not the crown. They wrapped it back around to the crab writing, and I appreciate that because it made the early parts necessary again. Damn! Okay, if that crab up. Oh. Look at his tiny little face. I was gonna say, that's a big opponent. This <laughs> is that first time fighting a temple. I fought a building once. Oh my god. It's a mushroom keeper's way of life. <laughs> Just you, bro. Just you. Oh god, the animation on that crab is god awful though. Did you see its leg come up through its body ca uh, carapace? <laughs> Just for a second. And hungry. <laughs> oh, both hungry. Okay, okay. Uh oh. Uh oh, that looks dangerous. It's a red watermelon. Uh-oh. I'm pretty sure it's his. <laughs> just, like, just like, <laughs> Give it back! <laughs> oh, hey, they got a gun. And a mask. Not a bad mask. Couple guns. And there's like a big body in the back. That's weird. Oh, no, no. We don't do previews for next episodes. So that was pretty good, guys. I've got to say I really enjoyed the shit out of it. Uh, there were a couple parts and a, the whole Bisco crab writing thing I felt was a little redundant. And it, at least they brought it back with the big crab later. I do still think it was a bit of a filler-ish episode in a lot of ways. Like the whole crab writing thing probably didn't need to be covered. Unless later on, Panda is always going to be the one riding in Octagawa and making sure. But, uh, I don't know. I felt like it was very much a mid-section portion of it that maybe did, maybe didn't need to be there. And that it just felt weird and pushed. But, maybe that's just me. Tell me what you guys thought. If you enjoyed watching, as always, support the original content creator. But if you liked watching with us, remember to like, comment, subscribe. We usually do these live every Sunday on twitch.tv slash 3D Reactions with an X. Check the link below. Or you can catch us, uh, you know, later on YouTube. They are edited, uh, both audio and video, but that is the way it is. But if you'd like to see all of our content with full audio, full video, you can, you know, get most of it for as low as a dollar a month on our Patreon. You can find that link below as well. As always, thanks for talking. I'd love to chat with you guys about this episode as well as any other anime and stuff that we do watch on here. And if you have any other suggestions for trailers, movies, TV shows, books, etc. that you'd like to see us react to, I'd be happy to check them out. Just post them below in the comments and we'll do our best to get to them. Thanks so much and we'll see you next time on Reactions with the next Sabakui Bisco.